In the span of a decade, ever signed a recording contract? Never. Been offered? Been offered, yes. How many times do you think you've turned a contract down? I've turned two down. Why? Um, I turned one down just because of the, the structure of the deal. Um, I follow the footsteps as other um, hip hop moguls such as Master P, far as ownership is huge for me. Um, it's, uh, it'd be selfish for me to sign a deal and to give all the hard work that I did away to someone else. But I wanna be unselfish and give this to my kids and my generation after that. So if I make that huge record, it's gonna live on and those royalties will pay for them instead of just me thinking about myself and let me get this record deal right now and giving my rights away. So to be really, um, you know, uh, what I want from music is ownership and show that, you know, we don't need a signing. It's great, you know, as far as the package and the marketing and all of the education and, and experience that you have. But other than that, I mean, everything you can do, I can do. It just may take a little bit more work, you know. And then the other deal, why'd you turn it down? The other deal, I turned it down because, you know, I felt like I didn't have the right representation um, or the right, I was really young. I was around 18 and I didn't have someone to, or like a big brother to say, you know what, this is, this is what you, or literally, I'm just gonna say it. I felt like I was gonna get raped in the deal. And what I meant by that is I didn't know business enough I looked at language, I looked at contracts that I didn't even understand. And if I was always told, if you don't understand something, then don't do it. It's just that simple. And I didn't have anyone to kind of help me and guide me along the way. My family, they, they don't know nothing about no record deal. They don't know about, you know, the, the verbiage that's, that are in these contracts. I was just gonna go ahead and sign something to say I'm a part of something and not get anything out of it. You know, so that, it was more about the education. A lot of artists are not educated about the business and what it takes to get to the next level, the amount of money invested and all these things. They'll give you nothing because of how much it takes to get your name out there. It, you know, for people to know your name, it's promotion, it's radio promo, it's, it's interviews, it's, hey, promotion on your music, it's, uh, YouTube promos, goes on and on. So it, it's a lot of major investment to reach that kind of status, so. At that time, did you, did you end up getting the education? Did you seek professional help, like in the form of an attorney at that time, whether it was an entertainment attorney or contractual type of attorney or? No, I didn't, didn't even do that. Um, honestly, I had some things going on with my personal life that kind of strayed me away from music from, uh, and I think a lot of artists go through it to where it's like, sometimes we say just fuck this shit. You know, music's cool, but then if certain things aren't going our way, if we're not getting the attention we want, if we're not getting sold out shows that we feel like we should get appreciated, and then somebody with, you know, that has this gimmick behind them, they're selling and you're not, you just, you're just like, man, but my shit sounds hotter than yours. Why am I not where I need to be? And it kind of pushed me away from music at the while to, to even wanna to seek help because it's like, it's so much business behind it. I just wanted to create. So when you take all of that creativity away and you put so much business into it, I couldn't fully be an artist. So I had to kind of hit the pause button, kind of get rejuvenated, read some books, get educated to wanna go back and study the game. And for timeline purposes, was this the actual timeline of the deals that you had received in the order? Correct. You had received them? Correct. Were these uh, independent contract offers or major record label contract uh, they offers? They were major. Yep. Both majors? Yep. Looking back, did you make the right decision by turning them down? Oh, of course. Um, just to elaborate, you know, I made the best decision because, you know, at this point, you know, you're so much wiser. I'm wiser. 
I have the intelligence to, to move the way I want to and then move at the pace that I want to. At this time in my life, how could I want to lose all control and creative control and, you know, to my path? I, I mean, I control my destiny. So I like it that way.